Hi my friends, this is Leticia from La Cocina de Leti. A lot of all my friends, they know me from La Cocina de Leti in Spanish, but this is my English version. So I hope you like it. Well, let me tell you today, this is, uh, I have a delicious recipe. Uh, popsicles or ice pops, whatever you know what does that mean. We call them Spanish paletas. Delicious paletas, they're gonna be with mango and chocolate. It's gonna be delicious. You're gonna love it because over here in California, my God, we're burning, it's too hot. And we have to be sure that it start taking fresh, a lot of water, a lot of juices, a lot of fresh cold things like a smoothies, like a popsicle. So don't move because I have this delicious for you or your kids or your grandkids like me. So don't know, don't go nowhere because I'll be back with all the ingredients that we're gonna need for this delicious recipe. Well, this is the ingredients that we're gonna use for these popsicles or ice pops. We're gonna use the sticks, the uh, traditional sticks for the for the um, popsicles. We're gonna use two cans of slices of mango, as you can see it. We're gonna use one can of evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, and a little bit of hot chocolate syrup, as you can see in there, so. And this is another can. So we're gonna use two, two cans of mango slices. And we're gonna use the whole thing. We're gonna use also the, the, the syrup. And also we're gonna use this. This mold, I bought, many of you guys ask me, where did I buy this mold? I, this mold, I got it in Amazon. I really like it because it's very easy to, have, um, you know, when it's time to take it out, it's so easy for us, as you can see. See? So this is the mold that we're gonna use for these popsicles. And I'll be back with you guys when I start mixing all the ingredients. My friend, this is what I did. I put, uh, I put some of the syrup, chocolate syrup. I put it in, in here in each one. As you can see right here, this is what I did. Okay, just a little bit around like an inch, one inch of chocolate. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I wanted it to be sure that it's very hard before we start putting the next ones, okay? I'll be back. Oh wow, we're gonna put this in the freezer for, with the flavor of chocolate and we're gonna leave it there like for 10 minutes. We wanna be sure that it's hot enough before we go ahead and put the mango, okay? Okay, I'm finishing to put all my evaporated milk in there. And I also, uh, we're gonna put half of the condensed milk. Like I said before, you can control your sugar, the amount that you wanna add onto this recipe. I only gonna put half of the condensed milk. And we're gonna start adding or, or mango in there, like this, or your mango. Oh, this recipe is gonna be delicious your kids they're gonna love it okay and right now we're gonna blend all this together so all the flavors can com be combined and then i'll be back with you and let you know how does this look okay well what i want to show you how does this delicious looks look at this okay i already tasted on my flavor mmm it is delicious well, right now what I'm gonna do, my friends, I, we're gonna drain this uh, uh, mango. We're gonna drain it like that, slowly, because we don't want any pieces of the mango in there, and we wanna be sure that it's perfect. So we're gonna do this all, and then I come back with you guys, okay? Okay, I'm ready to start filling up all my mango. And as you can see right now, this is a very delicious, very economic. And you can do this with your kids, with your grandkids like me. And uh, after you finish with all this, uh, you can put it in the freezer for three to four hours. Leave it in there and you're gonna see this delicious refreshment popsicles. 
and let me tell you this is so delicious well this is like about an hour already in my freezer so it's, a, it's still a little bit soft but it's, it's good to put your stick inside so you're gonna leave it like that and i'm gonna put it back in my freezer and i'm gonna leave it in there for another three hours so as soon as it's done i show you how to how to unmold my popsicles okay bye bye back in my freezer bye sorry about not making the ending in english i completely forgot to finalize it in English as well but after as you can see I'm in a different kitchen I did move um, so this is unmolding them I had to make new ones actually and here I am unmolding it I what I do is I dip it in warm water that it makes it easier for me to unmold this way because they are creamy it makes it easier to unmold this way and here what we're gonna do is we are going to pull it out Wow, look at that. Delicious. Yummy. I hope you guys like it. And what I wanted to mention is if you like my recipe, please remember to subscribe, share, and leave a comment. And let me know what you think about the recipe. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye. Here is my chocolate one that I forgot to show you. Sorry, it has already started to melt. But look at this, you guys. It tastes delicious. The mix of the mango and the chocolate is, for reals, delicious. Okay, guys. Subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Bye.